What's up, Half Chrome? I got a GPS drone today for under 100 bucks. Uh, it is the JXD 528, um, taking you to feeling the different scenery. That's quite the slogan. Um, but for under 100 bucks, a GPS drone, that's not something you see. Obviously, it's made to compete with this guy, the Rise Tello. We'll see what it does. Uh, we open the box. What do we got inside? Uh, just the drone. Drone. Charger, props, camera, and batteries inside. So let's go fly this thing, right? Um, we want to see how this guy stacks up against the Rise Tello. All right, so in order to get this going, it's a long press on the button on the bottom until I see it light up. Um, there are no instructions in the box, so uh, I have the app on my phone. So we'll see uh, what this says. Connect to the aircraft. All right, so I've got some video on my phone. Recording here. New version available, whether to update the flight control program. Okay. Release the button and begin upgraded. Please don't quit this application. We're doing a firmware update right now. App is both Chinese and English. In Chinese, directions to spin the aircraft. I don't read Chinese, but I do understand pictures. All right, now that's success. Now I spin it this way. Pretty much a standard calibration. It is smoking hot today. So if you see me sweating, uh, that's why. Okay, looks like we're good. Wants me to. Thumbs to the middle. Ooh, the thumbs appear on the screen. Firm takeoff. Okay. Take off. Nothing. Satellites, maybe that's the issue. No, now I have zero. Appears to be waypoints, follow mode, and orbiting. And mosquitoes. Wait for a few more satellites. I'm, I'm at seven. Usually I like at least nine, so we'll wait for nine. All right, we have liftoff. Definitely drifting. Okay, so first impressions, not bad. Uh, it flew pretty well. Uh, I could not get it to engage video. It said my SD card wasn't right. Maybe it's not the right one uh, or need to be formatted. Um, fairly stable once it acquired the satellites, which is probably what you would expect. Um, then I thought, well, heck, let's try some of these flight modes. Uh, the first one I entered was follow me, uh, which I was hoping it would follow me, but instead it made a beeline for the house and is now lodged on the roof. So I'm gonna have to go up there and get it. While we have this brief intermission, let's look at some pictures I was able to save to my phone. Obviously the SD card quality would be a little bit better. It does have a 720p camera, which isn't half bad, even though these pictures maybe weren't the best, but that's really the photographer's fault. All right, so now we gotta go on the roof. So we're on the roof. There it is. Okay. Follow me. Not run into the house. Follow me. All right, we'll try this again and see what happens. It is round two with the uh, JXD 528. Uh, we got it off the roof. I'm just waiting for some GPS signals to acquire, to be acquired, and we'll get this thing back up in the air. We'll see if we can do some follow me modes. I did grab a, a different SD card. The last one was kind of an inexpensive four gig, usually works, but uh, grabbed a little bit better quality one. Uh, put that in here. We'll see if we can't get some video from this thing and uh, maybe hopefully not crash it on the roof again. Okay, as you can see, I now have GPS signal normal. I have 12 satellites. Um, it looks like I still do not have uh, the ability to record on my SD card, which is a shame, uh, but does look like I can take off now. So, auto take off, confirm to take off. All 
That's not good. So, it uh, looks like we're not going to get this thing back in the air after all. The crash into the house did, in fact, kill a couple of the motors, which is a shame. Uh, I was really kind of looking forward to trying this thing out. For under $100, you get a GPS drone. Um, is it up to snuff? No, I don't think so. In fact, this is the second JDX drone I've had. Uh, the first one, I was never even able to... Uh, get it up in the air. So do you want this thing? Well, if you're a gambler, maybe. Uh, I do I do like the app. It looks nice, except for it's in Chinese. Um, it does seem to have the modes I'm looking for. Follow me, circle, orbit, things like that. Um, but they don't work, right? At least they didn't work for me. Um, maybe you'll have better luck than I did. Um, but what would I get? Probably a Tello. Tell is a good solid drone, uh, 100 bucks. You know what you're getting. No, it doesn't have GPS, but it does have GPS like modes and it's stable, right? And it's small, it's easy and portable. This is a little bit bigger, obviously. Um, but hey, if you're a gambler, sure, buy it. Uh, if you'd like to know what you're getting, pick up a Tello. Uh, if you're looking for something under 50 bucks, I like the Ishin E014. Yeah, that's the four, I think. There's, you know, they, they, they make them so descriptive in their uh, labels, but I believe it's the E014 that's uh, the windmill, the Ishin windmill is what I would recommend. Um, that one is pretty solid uh, for under 50 bucks. Uh, but, you know, one of these days someone's going to make a good GPS drone for under 100 bucks. Just not today.